What's good, you, mi gente? It's your boy Sebastian, and I am back with another YouTube video. Okay. so red in this camera right now. I promise I'm not this red in real life. It's the lighting. So it's pretty late. It is 11.30 p.m. Don't know why I got the sudden urge to film a video. Um, as you can see, once again, change of scenery, the classic. Y'all know what it is by now. I am in New York and um, I went to Queens actually um, the other day, like on the weekend, and I went with a friend of mine, Anaya. She is another spiritual chick friend of mine, and I love the videos that she is doing, so I want y'all to go check her out. So, we basically went to Queens, and in Queens, on the Ave, there's a lot of Caribbean people, uh, the Ave being Jamaica Avenue. There's a lot of Caribbean people, there's a lot of Spanish people as well, and I know that New York has so many botanicas. And when you come, like when I come here from Toronto, I am like in heaven because I can get everything I want in terms of my spiritual needs and my spiritual wants because there is not only so many people, period, but there's also a huge Latino community. Um, from the Caribbean, Puerto Rico, the DR, Cuba, Venezuela. I wanted to do a Botanica unboxing. So the things that I got at the witch shop, I thought this would be super fun and super fresh. So I am going to unbox some things for y'all to see and uh, we're gonna talk about them a little bit. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I got the bag here. Just like a simple. I'm like, yeah, I'll put this in a trash bag, but no, it is actually a plastic bag. This should be an ASMR video, like soft spoken. Witch hole. Nah, girl, I can't fucking swim. The first thing I got was let's start with the uh, basic, the ultimate. I got myself some Florida water. So I, um, you know, it's funny, like, Hispanic people always have this in their household, Agua Florida, uh, that's what I call it, but you could also call it, obviously, Florida water. Um, it is pretty much, like, an ancient staple in all, uh, like, spiritual Spanish households. Um, like, I know it, obviously, from Santeria and, like, the stuff that I do in terms of Orisha work and Orisha worship. Um, however, I am also well aware where uh, after doing like some more research on other cultures using it, other Hispanic cultures specifically, that um, there is a group of people like Peruvians, uh, Peruvian shamans use it, Mexican shamans. That was uh, really interesting to learn. What I would basically say is that, um, and my friend Anaya, coming back to that, she actually did a video on what Florida water is, and I thought that that was a really, really good way of describing it. Um, I will link the video down below. It is a uh, basically like a liquid form of sage, so it just, you know, cleans away bad energy and bad vibes. If you, like, are, have an apartment and I've done this also with rose water but I do think that Agua Florida does a little bit better of a trick um, and you just want to kind of suck out the negative energy from your house then you could um, use Agua Florida to do so. Um, also you could put it in the bath before starting any sort of ritual. You could put it on the back of your neck and the back of your ears. So if you just pour a little bit of Agua Florida uh, into a bowl and you put it under your bed, you invite good dreams. Now, uh, like I'd love to do a video about collecting what I've learned about putting stuff under the bed. That reminds me um, a little bit, well A, it actually reminds me very similarly of a dream catcher in indigenous spirituality and how you do keep dream catchers in your bedroom and I've always loved that. Um, but 
uh, in Guatemala, for example, I know a popular spiritual practice is to put these little dolls, these little special dolls, uh, you put them, two of them under your bed and two or more under your bed and they resolve your problems especially if you've had a hard day you put the dolls under your bed and then they work on fixing all your problems while you're asleep and I've always really loved that story I've loved the symbolism and the messaging behind it and uh, I hope to get myself two little dolls and a little bowl of agua florida so that I have a good dream and uh, a good day the next following day so I got two um, essential oils as well or essential oils why I call them essential oils I'm just gonna call them oils um, I don't know if they're essential they're essential to me but I know essential oils is a completely different thing from this so these spiritual oils generally I put them on places where they are quote-unquote accessible um, so generally after I take a shower I might put them on my wrists uh, in the back of my ears the back of my neck and then usually my ankles as well and then also if I've drawn a bath I will just put pour like two or three drops um, into the bath so I have two oils here one of them is llama clientes call clients so the reason that I got this one is because I am self-employed and I do work with clients currently as well as doing YouTube and Instagram and then even when you do YouTube and Instagram in terms of brand collaborations and stuff like that you, the people that you work with who you're doing the collabs with the companies are clients in a way right so this I think is really good. I mean, for me personally, there's never, there's always an amazing thing to like, uh, you know, go after clients and that chase. And I feel like I need all the help I can get with that because obviously I want to make more money. I make enough money now, but I'm I'm not rich by any means. I have enough for myself, but I don't have enough to like have a savings account or like get a, you know, top level condo or buy a house or like, you know, do all the goals that I want to achieve. So I think it's really important to use this um, in terms of getting more for myself so that I could eventually reach those goals right the other one I have here is <coughs> contra la ley uh, fighting the law or law stay away as it says here in English um, this one is a very specific one I mean obviously with Yama Clientes that's like very um, obvious it's like you know because everyone wants more money but the reason that I got the Contra La Ley one is not because I'm doing anything necessarily illegal um, however it came up in a reading that with me being self-employed and with me doing the type of work that I'm doing and interacting with so many people that I have to operate very gently because I could face legal problems if I, uh, you know, misstep or have an oversight on anything. That being said, there is never enough of blessings that you can get um, and you always need all the help that you can get so I definitely want to use this oil because I think it is important to um, still you know actively be working with your spirits and working with the los ancestros your ancestors and your uh, spirit guide and your guardian angel your orisha um, to improve the situations around you and if you're putting more dedication and more faith and more time and more power into things like these oils then you will reap the benefits now i got a few candles as well just two candles actually i thought i got three three but I guess I am mistaken so <coughs> let me just show you the first candle Echu Elegua um, yeah so Echu Elegua is one of the principal 
um, Odishas of the faith. Very, very, very important Odisha. And of course, if you uh, don't worship Elegua, you can still work with the spirit. Anybody can work with um, the guardian angels, the Odishas. You don't have to be initiated or a part of the faith to do so. Um, but it is important to also understand what and who you're working with. So me and Elegua have actually quite a good relationship, I would say. I pray to Elegua often. Um, I think Elegua gives me a lot of challenges and puts me in a lot of situations which I consider kind of silly, um, but I try not to be emotionally reactive to, and I think that that is part of the challenges and then the subsequent blessings that I get. Um, the reason that I say that is because Elegua is known as a trickster deity, very similar to, I think, a Nancy, who's like more popular um, in kind of mainstream literature. Is the owner or the orisha of all roads, todos los caminos, so all the roads, um, all the pathways and walkways in your life. So when you're working with any um, ancestor and any orisha, you need to speak to Elegua and you need to feed Elegua and work with Elegua because Elegua gives life and ache to every step you take, so that every step you take is godly and with purpose. And if you you're um, working with Elegua. I've just heard so many beautiful stories. I heard about this man in um, Trinidad who I met uh, up in Canada and he told me that he his home was going through a foreclosure and his business dealings were not going well so he put uh, all the money that he had in his pocket and he put it at an intersection at a crossroad. He put all the money there, he made um, a deep prayer, and he walked away. And the next day, he got a client, um, and it was for an amount that, you know, paid off all the debts of the home, and he still had money left over. So that was a really beautiful thing to hear. This is a red candle and a black candle. These are very powerful colors. Um, when you're working with this kind of candle, it is important that you kind of know what you're getting into. Here, we also have the Chango candle. Now, Chango girl is not a spirit to play with. Um, very, very powerful spirit. Um, I haven't lit a Chango candle yet. This will be my first time. I'm actually waiting till I can go do it in a common room because, uh, right now this is a small New York apartment where the living room is the kitchen and the living room and kitchen are the bedroom as well. So, Chango's a very powerful spirit. Um, he is the spirit that I've been working closely with in terms of business dealings and in terms of opportunities. He likes to be well fed and he likes nice things. Um, so he will guide you on working to acquire these nice things but then of course you have to remember Chango. So for example I have a restriction on eating lamb and anytime I crave lamb I cook lamb and give it to Chango. Lamb is an expensive meat in Canada and in the United States. It's not like you know chicken or pork. So you know Chango likes the finer things but Chango also understands that you have to work for them. So I definitely work with Chango a lot when it comes to business when it comes to money fortune and opportunities so I'm really excited to light this candle when I get the opportunity to lastly here we have a bath liquid so check this out this is prosperity and as you see the little dollar bills so again working with money um, and working with that kind of stuff it's really important I guess in my time in my life right now I want to travel I want to do different things and I do have my blessing to travel um, but of course you need money to make this happen so I am working with you know my prosperity and my oils and I'm gonna definitely draw a bath tonight and 
you know, work with these energies so that I could see more prosperity for myself in the future, acquire more clients, and gain more experiences that, you know, come attached with the monetary value so that I could see myself doing the things and I can realize the things that I want to do. I think this is really important. In terms of bath, um, like, amounts, I would just put in, like, enough for, like, like a little bowl's worth. It doesn't need to be too much. Basically, like, if you have a 500 milliliter water bottle, like those those little normal ones that you get. Um, general, I had two of those ones for a herbal bath that somebody gave to me, and I used half each time, and then the rest was obviously filled with water. You don't need to worry about water diluting anything. Um, water does not dilute spirit, it does not dilute energy. Um, it is also in its own way an energy that we work with, so you don't have to feel like there's a certain ratio of oil to water working together. So this, I think, uh, is where we kind of wrap up. I just want to show you guys what where I go and um, what I get at the Botanical Hall. Of course, these things are always changing when I go to these spiritual shops. I get things based off what I need for that time being. So today, uh, tonight, I'm going to draw a bath. I'm going to take you guys with me to draw this bath. And you're going to see kind of how it all mixes together in to one great thing and then I will end off the video at that so come join me all right all right all right so I got my um, bath running right now so that is the noise in the back obviously it is so soothing not really so I'm going to use this prosperity um, oil like bath soap thing that we um, that we talked about in the video um, I'm also going to use the two oils for you know calling clients and then staying away from any sort of legal troubles and then also I'm going to put a dash of Florida water and then lastly and it's so funny because I said I wouldn't do this um, but I will just light some sage well first i'm gonna break some sage into um the bath itself because it will also absorb the bacteria immediately um on my skin and stuff like that but i will just light some sage over um the bath and then on my body um unfortunately uh, well i mean you'll probably see me make one orisha prayer um, but unfortunately, I can't pray. One cannot pray um, and have others hear it. Uh, you can make prayers, obviously, to Orishas and God and stuff like that, like public entities. But you can't repeat the name of your ancestor to another person. So for my personal prayers, I have to keep that off camera. I hope you guys understand. So let's get into this bath and uh, get up out of So with the bath filling up, don't mind the ghetto towel that is holding it all in. Um, this bath's like just a little cold, so I'm letting it run. Um, trying to fill it. I think it's like halfway full right now. So I'm just going to take this to start, and I'm going to put about this much. So just like the tag amount. So again, there's no minimum or maximum, which is great. So it's kind of just memory I'm working off of, but in future times, if I use more or less, it won't necessarily harm me. So it has a minty smell. It smells like toothpaste, actually. Very interesting. So let me just pour it in. So, as you see, a lot of, uh, the amount that I wanted was just a little bit more. Next thing I'm going to use is the Agua Florida. Just a little dollop.
next the oils. Just need a little bit of those. And then just make it up. You need your hand for this. So we just have some sage here as well. Going to light it up. I'm just gonna make a prayer to Eligua. So it just broke up a little piece. Just gonna throw it in there. Um, we can be going to suck the bacteria out of my body. And then the important thing is that obviously you generally wear your pajamas more than once before you throw them away. However, when you do these baths, you need to have a fresh pair of wipes. So, you want to go to sleep in a fresh pair of wipes. Um, especially if you have, you know, uh, nice materials like silk or cotton. Use those over the, uh, you know, polyester or those types of materials. So I'm really excited to get into this bath. Um, you do want to pray to your ancestors, those whose name you know. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do that off camera. And, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I think this is one of my most involved videos yet. So let me know what you think. If you like these botanical hauls, would you like to see me do more of them? Uh, you know. Hit me up in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, Ache.